equivalent to the output of 1.53 Gorges hydropower stations. The Yalong River, the largest tributary of the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, plans to build 23 dams. The Yalong River is the largest tributary of the Jinsha River in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. It is located in the western part of Sichuan Province, China. It is a river with important geographical and hydrological significance. Its name means water with many fish in Tibetan. It is an important tributary of the Jinsha River in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. It originates from the southern foot of the Bayankala Mountains in Chengduo County, Yushu Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, Qinghai Province. The source area is towering into the clouds, covered with glaciers, and the snow water continuously gathers into a stream called Zhutsu. The river flows roughly from northwest to southeast. After entering Sichuan province from Qinghai, it turns south, passes through Ganzi prefecture and Liangshan prefecture, and finally merges into the Jinsha River at the mouth of the Lisu River in Panzihua city. The total length is about 1,570 kilometers, and the basin area is vast, reaching 128,000 square kilometers. Its upper reaches originate from the southern slope of Bayankala Mountain in Chengduo County, Qinghai Province. The upper reaches present high mountain and plateau landscapes, and the river valleys are mostly grassland-wide valleys and a small number of shallow hill canyons. The middle and lower reaches are plateau and high mountain canyon rivers with a width of 100 to 150 meters, and wide valleys and basins appear in the tributaries. The Yalong River Basin has beautiful natural scenery, especially the Yalong River Grand Canyon in Xinlong County, which is 175 kilometers long and is famous for its unique, deep and steep terrain features. It is an ideal place for adventure tourism and natural viewing. Let us learn more about it in this video. The Yalong River is one of the rivers with the richest hydropower resources in China. Its main stream has a large drop and a turbulent flow. The Yalong River is a typical canyon river with a huge drop, many bends and rapid water, and many canyon reefs and beaches, which is suitable for hydropower development. The hydropower resources are very rich and have great development potential. Its main stream is about 1,570 kilometers long. The altitude of the upper reaches of the Yalong River is more than 4,000 meters, and the lowest point of the lower reaches is less than 1,000 meters. The natural drop reaches 3,830 meters, which is equivalent to the height of about 2.48 Mount Tai. The geographical location and basin characteristics of the Yalong River have laid a solid foundation for the abundance of its water resources. It has many tributaries, including the Mamu Kao River, Yutsu, Nagku, Sienchue River, Litong River, Jiolong River, and Anning River. The vast basin enables the Yalong River to gather precipitation from different regions and form a huge amount of water. Runoff is mainly supplied by ice and snow, and there is also snowmelt and ice melt supply. Rainfall in the Yalong River Basin is mainly concentrated in the summer. Under the influence of the southwest monsoon, precipitation is abundant and the river enters the flood season, while in winter, precipitation is less and the river enters the dry season. But even so, the annual runoff of the Yalong River is still very considerable, providing sufficient water resources. The terrain of the Yalong River Basin is high on the north, west and east sides and tilts to the south. This terrain feature is conducive to the collection of precipitation and the flow of river water, making the water volume of the Yalong River more abundant.
The basin is densely forested and well vegetated. The average annual sand content of the river is 0.5 kilograms per cubic meter, which means that the adverse effect of dam construction on the dam body is relatively small. The average annual flow of the Yalong River is 1,870 cubic meters slash second, and the average annual runoff is 59.1 billion cubic meters. The reservoir capacity of the Three Gorges Dam is the largest in the world, with a total storage capacity of 39.3 billion cubic meters. The annual runoff of the Yalong River is equivalent to the reservoir capacity of about 1.53 Gorges Dams. The theoretical hydropower resources in the Yalong River Basin are 33.72 million kilowatts, of which 33.44 million kilowatts are in Sichuan, accounting for about 99% of the entire basin. The capacity of a large coal-fired power plant or nuclear power plant is usually around 1 gigawatt. 33.44 million kilowatts is equivalent to 3 to 4 such large power plants. The hydropower development plan of the Yalong River includes the construction of multiple hydropower stations on the main stream and tributaries to make full use of its hydropower resources. At present, the Yalong River hydropower base is one of the 13 major hydropower bases planned in China, and its installed capacity ranks third in the country. Among the 13 major hydropower bases, the installed capacity ranks third, second only to the Jinsha River hydropower base and the Upper Yangtze River hydropower base. The planning of the Yalong River hydropower base includes the construction of 23 hydropower stations and comprehensive development from the source to the end of the river. The five hydropower stations in the lower reaches have been completed. The six hydropower stations in the middle reaches have been completed or are under construction, and the 13 hydropower stations in the upper reaches are under planning. The natural drop of the Yalong River used by the hydropower base is 2,845 meters, with a total installed capacity of about 28.5 million kilowatts, and an annual average power generation of 151.6 billion kilowatt hours. The Three Gorges Dam is the largest hydropower station in China and one of the largest hydropower stations in the world. The total installed capacity of the Three Gorges Dam is about 22.5 gigawatts, 22.5 million kilowatts, and the annual power generation is about 100 billion kilowatt hours. This figure shows that the annual average power generation of the Yalong River hydropower base is about 1.5 times that of the Three Gorges. The completion of these hydropower stations will be able to provide a large amount of clean energy and will also have a positive impact on local economic development, irrigation, flood control, and shipping. Several Cascade hydropower stations have been planned and built in the Yalong River Basin, such as the Erton Hydropower Station, Jinping 1 and 2 hydropower stations, etc. These hydropower projects have played an important role in optimizing China's energy structure and economic development. Lianghecu Hydropower Station is a representative project in the Yalong River Basin. This hydropower station, located in Gansi Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, Sichuan Province, has a total installed capacity of 3 million kilowatts. Since it was put into operation, it has provided more than 2.3 billion kilowatt hours of green electricity. The construction of Lianghecu Hydropower Station has directly driven local economic growth. During the construction of the hydropower station, a large amount of capital investment and human resources demand have created a large number of employment opportunities 
for the local area and improved the income level of residents. It has also driven the development of related industries such as building materials, machinery and equipment, and transportation. The hydropower capacity of Yalong River is mainly transmitted to Sichuan power grid, and clean energy is sent to central China including Jiangxi and other areas covered by the Yangtze River economic belt. Through UHV hydropower transmission channels, such as the Yazhong DC project. For Sichuan province, where Yalong River is located, the construction and operation of hydropower stations have created a large number of local jobs and improved the income level of residents. The power generated by the hydropower station can improve the poor regulation performance of Sichuan hydropower and the disparity between wet and dry seasons, improve the power supply capacity in the dry season, and optimize the power supply structure, which is conducive to the economic operation of the power grid system. The continuous clean electricity also provides energy guarantee for the upgrading of Sichuan's industrial base and the modernization of the industrial chain, further promoting the prosperity of the local economy. For power transmission areas, such as Jiangxi and other central China regions, the input of Yalong River hydropower first meets the growing local power demand and ensures the stability of power supply. The introduction of these clean energy sources will help improve the local energy structure, reduce the use of fossil energy, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and promote the development and utilization of clean energy. The import of Yalong River hydropower will also help ease the electricity shortage in the central region and promote economic cooperation and mutual benefit among regions. The construction and operation of hydropower stations may damage local biological communities and lead to a decline in species diversity. The Yalong River is the habitat of many fish species, including a variety of rare and protected fish species such as perch, fine-scaled schizothorax, and Xichang Plateau loach. Hydropower development has had a significant adverse impact on aquatic life in the Yalong River Basin. The construction of hydropower stations has changed the natural runoff process of the river, causing the water flow to slow down and the water depth to increase, which affects the reproduction and survival of fish. Fish such as schizothorax need to reproduce under specific flow rates and water depths and the construction of hydropower stations may have destroyed these conditions, resulting in the obstruction of fish reproduction. The operation of hydropower stations causes changes in water temperature. The Yalong River Hydropower Station is a seasonal regulation reservoir with a maximum water depth of about 200 meters in front of the dam. The downstream water temperature is lower than the natural river channel from February to August, and higher than the natural river channel from September to February of the following year. This change in water temperature may exceed the suitable growth temperature range of fish, which has an adverse effect on the growth and reproduction of fish. The construction of hydropower stations may also cause water pollution. During the construction process, a large amount of waste and pollutants may enter the river, affecting the water quality. Noise and vibration may be generated during the operation of the hydropower station, which will interfere with aquatic organisms. Most importantly, the construction of hydropower stations has changed the living environment of fish. The original river ecosystem has been changed to a reservoir ecosystem similar to a lake, resulting in the disappearance of the fish's habitat. This makes the original schizothorax fish, plateau loach, etc. unable to survive in the reservoir, while the carp, silver carp, 
and artificially released silver carp and bighead carp that adapt to slow flow or still water environments grow well in the reservoir. The construction of hydropower stations may lead to significant changes in the structure of fish communities. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.